Walker Silencer Bluetooth earbuds. Are they really worth 300 bucks? So let's dive into these Walker Bluetooth Air Pro. Are they really worth $300? That's the main question. Do I think these are worth spending 300 bucks on? I absolutely, positively do, without hesitation. Walker didn't send me these. I paid 300 bucks for them, just like everybody else. And I love them. So here's the thing, I use them every single day. I don't just use them shooting. I don't go shooting every day, I wish I could. I use them at the gym every day, well, five days a week. I use them when I do yard work. I use them on the plane. I use them when I cut the grass. They would be great for hunting. I don't do much hunting, but they would be great for hunting. But anytime you wanna to listen to music, talk on the phone, a big pro for me anyway, they're a lot more comfortable than the over-the-air earmuffs. The over-the-air earmuffs, to me, they, they pinch my ear, they hurt my, uh, my eye protection, and within like a half hour, I have a bad, bad, bad headache. I don't get that with these. They're very, very comfortable and they still do just as good of a job protecting your hearing. They give you a 26 NRR noise reduction rating, which is pretty good. Some of the over-the-air ear protection doesn't even give you that quite that good of protection. And for in-ear, as long as you fit them correctly, which we'll go over, on average, when you're using these with the Bluetooth mode and the noise cancellation mode, you get about four or five hours worth of, of battery life in them. So they're really ideal for going to an all day training class as well. Uh, I'll wear them all morning at the training class. During lunchtime, I'll come back to the base. This is so hard to do on camera. I'll drop them right back in the base during lunchtime. I'll let them charge back up. And then after lunch, they're typically good to go for the second half of the class. What comes in the box? Very, very nice packaging. I threw it away, so I apologize. I've had these for over a year. I did not keep the box. The main thing you get is this rechargeable base. Uh, there's a micro USB right here, a charging indicator up top. Uh, red means it's charging, green means it's good to go. A uh, spot for a lanyard there. It does come with the lanyard also that I threw away. And you just push and it slides right open. That's where both, uh, to the dock for both of the earbuds to sit in so you can recharge them. You see there's a little brush there to clean them because they do get a little gross being in your ear. I'll spare you the details. Uh, and then on the bottom side is all your warnings, serial number, model number. Um, there's two different versions of these that, that are extremely similar. The main difference is one has Bluetooth capabilities and the other one does not. The one that does not have Bluetooth capabilities is 249. The one that does is gonna be around 299. Now you can get them on Amazon for $40, $50 less right now at the time of this video. And I'll put links to, the, uh, to Amazon where you can get them for $30, $40, $50 less uh, and you can go check them out there. Uh, if you want the one with Bluetooth, which is in my opinion way worth the $50, the model number you need to look for is GWP-SLCR-BT and that will be here or here or somewhere. Those are the ones with Bluetooth. What else comes in the package? Obviously you get both of the earbuds. They are marked left and right on the back. That is the left one right there. It gives you three different in-ear uh, foam sizes. Uh, that's one of the more important things is to make sure you get the right size and it seals up your ear very, very well. If there's any gaps in there, it's gonna totally defeat the purpose of wearing ear protection. It also gives you three different size of these of these wings here. As you can see, there's an M right there for medium size. Again, fit uh, the one that, uh, find the one that fits the best and locks it in. Also on the box, you're gonna get a USB charger to charge them up. Any standard micro USB will work fine. And you also have the manual, but who reads the manual? These things are easy to use. You definitely don't need the manual. Close. So right here is gonna be a power button to turn them on and off. And when you hold that down, it says, uh, walkers so you know when they're turning on and off obviously the plus and minus is going to be your volume I don't usually use these as controls. It's kind of weird when they're in your ear. I'll use the app on the phone I think it's much easier this blade right here 
that goes in the top of your ears. Again, there's three different sizes. You fit, you fit it to whatever fits your ear best. And this is the foam that goes inside of your ear. Again, when you're putting it in, you squish it down so you narrow it out. Let me show you, give me a second. And then when it's narrow, it fits in the ear a lot better. There's also three different sizes of these that just pull right off. And they go right back in. If I can do it on camera, <laughs> there you go. And you can buy replacements in different sizes for those. Uh, the last thing on here is a charging indicator. When you put them in the dock, if it's charging, it'll be red. And when they're all charged up, that turns blue. Let's talk about the phone app. The app is one of the best things about these Bluetooth headsets. It works very well, connects simple, high quality, and I've never had any issues with the app. Uh, as you see on the top there, there's a button that says connected. After you turn the Bluetooth uh, earbuds on, you hit the connect button and the phone will pair with the Bluetooth headsets. You have left and right separate volume controls. So if you wanna make one earbud louder than the other, you can. And that also will control the um, amplifying of the background noise. So if you're at a training class, for again, for example, you can turn the volume up so you can hear the instructor or the range safety officer a little bit better. Underneath that, you have your four modes. You have universal, you have clear voice, amplified, and HF boost. 99% of the time, I just keep it on universal and they do a very good job. Um, but if you want to have a clearer voice or amplify the the background noise is more, especially if you're shooting at a very far distance and you want to hear steel, for example, um, you have that those options there to choose from. On the bottom is your sleep timer when you want them to turn off automatically. Uh, the first option, default option is off, then you can have them turn off in two, four, or six hours. So the app is very, very simple and it works very well. Um, the nice thing about the in-ear protection is you can wear a hat over them and keep your head warm and as you see i'm a bald man and keeping my head warm is much harder than those with hair so that is a huge advantage of them as well so in summary i give the walker silencer bluetooth two big thing thumbs up use them pretty much every single day whether it be at the gym or yard work traveling on an airplane anytime i want to listen to music bike rides it doesn't matter any any outdoor activity where i want to listen to music i'm pretty much wearing them obviously the big advantage is if you're going to a range you're going hunting trap skeeting shooting all day training doesn't matter any shooting event that's where they shine that's where the, the uh, they do the best the only thing I don't give them high marks on is gonna be the voice quality when you're talking to somebody on the phone. Um, there's a lot of background noise, ambient noise. They're not made, they're not, not that they're not made, but they're not the best for phone calls. Uh, Bluetooth, listening to music, works great. Uh, protecting your hearing, A+, plus, but not for talking on the phone. Well, thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I will uh, get back to your comment or question as quickly as I possibly can. Like I mentioned, there's also links down below to get these on Amazon, and it really helps the channel out. They're affiliate links, doesn't cost you anything, but Amazon gives us a very, very small kickback when you use that link to purchase them, so we do appreciate it. Also, if you like this video, think about hitting the subscribe button so when we bring out new videos, you'll, uh, you'll be alerted. You'll Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.